Nadia and I are here again today to talk about trends and insights into the real estate market in the Caribbean. The Caribbean real estate market has been experiencing a significant increase in demand over the past few years, driven by factors such as economic growth, political stability, rising tourism, and in this video, I wanted to take, or we wanted to take a closer look at some of the key market trends in the Caribbean and uh, the, the real estate sector, you know, as a whole. So as always, and you know, I like a list. So I've got a list of points. Uh, I think there's uh, seven or eight I wish to go through. So let's get started. Growing demand for luxury properties. As you and I know, the Caribbean has long been a popular destination for wealthy individuals looking for luxury lifestyle. The region boasts a wide range of high-end properties from waterfront properties to expansive estates. Um, but in recent years, there's been a growing demand for luxury properties in the Caribbean, particularly in countries like Antigua and Barbuda that have good transport access and also have a solid and stable government, judiciary and infrastructure. Do you think that's a little bit to do with, you know, having COVID and people are wanting to change their lives, looking to, I guess, start their retirement plan now or uh, if they've got young children, you know, it's the perfect time to move to a different island or invest uh, for their future. Do you think COVID's had an impact on that? COVID's had a massive impact. And what we've really seen is a lot of different variability in the market. So we used to have a very consistent, uh, relatively predictable market in terms of rentals as well as uh, buying. But now everything is a little bit more volatile. It seems people are a little bit more risk tolerant as well. And also people are less prepared to wait. So people really now seem to want to get on with doing something. So it used to be in a couple of years, uh, I will buy, I'd like to look now and yeah. in when I look at my retirement. What we're seeing now is we're seeing people much more eager to say, yes, it's six months, life is there for living. After spending two years being effectively locked down, I think now people are realizing that life will continue irrespective of external factors. And for those who already have a home in the Caribbean, lockdown was not too difficult. Whereas for people who were unable to travel for almost two years, then obviously that was a really significant restriction on their lives. Yeah, absolutely, I totally agree. So my next point is increasing interest in sustainable properties. The Caribbean's home to some of the world's most beautiful environments, uh, pristine beaches, lush rainforests, crystal clear waters. But as concerns about climate change and environmental degradation continue to grow, there's been growing interest in sustainable properties in the region. And what we see now is many developers are incorporating eco-friendly features into their designs, solar panels, almost all houses in the Caribbean have rain harvesting systems. So effectively they take the water, store it in a rainwater, store it in a cistern, and then it's filtered and then used. Likewise, uh, heating systems for hot water. And we see things, uh, for example, green roofs, uh, which are really good for maintaining or keeping out uh, uh, the, the sort of the changes in temperature. So stability of thermal mass within the property. So once you've cooled it down, it can stay at that temperature. And these sustainable properties are not only good for the environment, but what we're seeing is there's a lot more appeal for our clients to say, yes, that's something that they're interested in, in looking at. So the third point is, um, emerging markets and we're seeing this more and more often particularly with uh, reference to Antigua and Barbuda. While countries like the Bahamas and Barbados have long been popular destinations for real estate investment there are several emerging countries in the Caribbean which are starting to attract major investment and development. Antigua is definitely one of those. We are seeing more activity in St. Kitts, uh, Dominica and these countries offer a whole range of differing and affordable properties, making them really attractive to investors looking for a second home. Because obviously, because they're emerging markets, the uh, price points and the availability of locations 
in those areas is much, is, is much more significant for the investor coming in. So my fourth point is increased interest in rental properties. So over the past 10, 15 years, I think the entire world is familiar with Airbnb and there has been a significant impact on Caribbean real estate market because of business uh, models such as Airbnb, VRBO, HomeAway, etc, etc. And as more people are now looking for rental properties, or should I say, instead of thinking of the property as a second home uh, to live in, uh, this trend has led to effectively a surge in demand for short-term rental properties, particularly in popular tourist destinations like Antigua, uh, Barbuda, St. Lucia, St. Kitts, Dominica, and investors who purchase properties can benefit from a steady stream of income and also utilize their house for their own holidays when they come here. Yeah, absolutely. There's been a massive surge. And I think that's because m many of the countries, they only have a certain amount of hotel rooms. So you only have a certain amount of beds. And with residential tourism, the Airbnb market, we're now, we've increased the beds in Antigua by about 20 to 30 percent. Now, if this keeps increasing, then the flight carriers will put more flights on. And so it get, becomes a bigger and better destination, which will be then advertised more worldwide. And then that increases the demand. So more real estate uh, is being built because of that. So yeah, it's, it's amazing the increase over the last couple of years. Yeah. Another factor that's affected real estate development and investment trends across the Caribbean is something that people often don't think about, um, and that is technology. Immediately you might think what I'm talking about is building technology and that is part of it. But really what I'm talking about is information technology. The ability to have a remote ownership of a home and have effectively a constant link with that property, allowing the owner to have good contact with their management. For example, they might have external security cameras, they can see what's happening. Uh, we as property managers can give kind of real-time uh, information and feedback, whereas 10, 15 years ago, it was very much, it was one email, it was a letter, it was what's happening with my property, I'm not sure. Now with uh, various communication, we've got text, we've got video calls, you've got phoning internationally through internet is now free. You can do video conferencing calls. We do a lot of uh, walkthroughs um, to even sell property during COVID. We actually sold a number of properties uh, through video walkthroughs where people are just looking through the cameras and we spent a couple of hours walking through a house showing them what it was like and those things have had a massive in impact on the real estate market and likewise it also has a huge impact on attracting holiday makers because the more media we produce and the more accessible the media is to them the more they're likely to say yes that's the property i want to book for my family holiday my last point, which we've touched on before, which was COVID. The COVID-19 pandemic had a significant impact on the Caribbean real estate market, particularly in the short term. Many countries in the regions, in the region closed their borders to tourists, causing significant drop in demand for rental properties. And at the time, in the short term, for real estate uh, purchases. However, the region uh, has now recovered actually quite um, dramatically. There was a, a, a big upturn in demand as soon as all the lockdowns were lifted. And there is renewed optimism uh, in the future of the real estate market. We saw one of the biggest years ever uh, just post pandemic. And in fact, the, the, the pandemic slowed everything down at the time, but after the pandemic, there was a huge wave of investment coming in where potentially it was, it was either people waiting or they didn't want to wait any further and wish to be, I mean, part of it was the Caribbean is a healthy destination. You're out, I mean, look at the environment we're in. You know, this is, this is, our, this is our day to day. We're at the beach, we're outside, it's fresh air. Uh, the air that we live and breathe in is 3,000 miles across the Atlantic. It's traveled, it's clean. Uh, we don't really have any pollution here. So all those factors, I think, have now 
because of COVID-19, those have been highlighted, uh, healthy lifestyle, as well as uh, work-life balance. And so we've seen a, a, a massive surge in um, real estate investment over the past 18 months, in, in particularly in Antigua and Barbuda, but across the Caribbean in general. Thank you very much for watching our video about the trends um, that affect the real estate market in the Caribbean. If you would like more information or want to watch more of our videos, please subscribe below.